Good morning, everybody, and this is your S&P 500 day trade setups for today. So uh, basically, range, ba range bound trading yesterday, uh, really volatile as well. In fact, you can see by this uh, pretty big range bar here. Um, I think it was around 400 points at one stage. We'll look at that now. Uh, a couple of things that are really exciting me with this setup that we have here. Firstly, we've had this really decent breakout um, through this zone. And this zone is 47.57 and 47.44. You can see how long we sort of hovered along here. Yeah, it's going at the close of last year. Uh, we then had pretty much sideways action in a flag. So as far as I'm concerned, this has been a really strong move. We are just consolidating. It looks to me like a flag. Uh, it doesn't matter which way you draw it. I can draw a trend line down the bottom and equal along there, which gives a flag, or it is a range. So flag pole is basically the move up. This is the flag. Now I'm looking for a move, a clear break and retest at the top. Look at the oscillators. They kind of agree with that. They're crossing over far apart. And whenever that happens, if you look here, you typically get a, a pretty solid violent move to the upside. Uh, if we just drop down through the three hour, firstly, you'll see the range a lot clearer. Definitely don't want to be jumping in long here. Uh, Trade for the off the gap yesterday was pretty much a, a half decent trade, I would say. Um, well worth the gamble. I think your stop area would have just been the issue because it was quite volatile. Let's look at that now. So there you can see, you know, kind of drifting up higher pre-market with the DAX and then, you know, the US market opened and immediately we came down to close the gap. Now look at this hour bar here. 379 points. I mean, that's uh, almost a 1%, 0.8% move in an hour. So that is extremely volatile. Just shows you the liquidity in the market is still not quite there and uh, pretty volatile. So that was a fairly decent trade, bottom of range, the top of range. We're now top of range, oscillators group to the upside. So you need to start looking for the structure. First bit of structure is at 47.85. That's definitely what I'd be paying attention to. Um, not looking at this at the moment. Uh, this 48.09, I can't see. Well, it may break during the European session. You know, futures may break that. But looking at the oscillators, I suspect we'll come back and test uh, one of the, there's a couple of levels, I don't know. Actually, one of you. So there's kind of a, a zone here. And um, it's 47.90 and 47.85. And then obviously the market closed. Where did we close? We closed here um, at 47.95. So that's another area that I suspect would be tested today. Uh, specifically at the open, I would say, at the US open. So so for me at the moment, there's you don't want to be jumping in long here, but definitely pullbacks are to be bought right now, anticipating a breakthrough. If we start dropping i think the low of yesterday is now your 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 floor area 4759 that's your stop area at the moment um, so you know wait for pullbacks wait for structure and then look for the opportunity to move the upside technically we're still in an uptrend look at the moving averages all pointing to the upside now what you could do is pay, pay attention to the 15 minute although yesterday even the 15 minute was a you look at this 15 minute bar moved 300 points 0.7 percent i mean insane and once we close the gap then we kind of just hovered here and a bit later in the market there was your signal bar there and well there was the first one and there's your second one there so inside bar pin bar off structure and the structure obviously was the close and bear in mind that that close was a yearly close it was a weekly close it was a daily close um, and a monthly close. So it was a pretty strong magnet. And you can see the oscillators grouping the downside as well. So so for me at the moment, pullbacks are to be bought. Uh, this question is just where is that pullback and how far down do we need to pay attention to it? Uh, could also just look at the previous high from yesterday. But um, for me, S&P 500 is definitely a buying opportunity. But just be cautious this week. I think I'm not really going to be that aggressive on it until um, all the data is out the way, specifically jobs number, non-farm payrolls on Friday. So once that's out the way, then you can definitely be a bit aggressive. So for me, it's still small position sizes and um, 
just wait for the structure. It's uh, well worth taking the opportunity to keep your stops fairly wide uh, within your risk profile, obviously, and uh, take the trade accordingly. Anyway, that's kind of my view at the moment. Range bounds, uh, wait for the pullbacks and then look to buy, but take profit top of range and then wait for the next setup. Hope it helps and we will catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.